Hello all, my name is Anvita Patil and I'm the Vice President of Investor Relations and Treasurer for Heckler Mining Company. And I'm speaking with you from Coeur d'Alene, Idaho, which is one of the corporate offices of Heckler Mining Company. So here I am starting with the presentation and there will be a few forward looking statements that I'll make and these two slides just um, caution you about that. To start with, Hecla is the largest silver producer in the US and we produce 40% of silver mined in the US. We own and operate <clears throat> two very premier silver mines in the world, Greens Creek up in Alaska that you can see on the map shown on the slide and Lucky Friday in Idaho. And in 2022, we produced 14.2 million ounces of silver and we expect to produce 17 million ounces of silver in 2023. Now, where is this production growth coming from? It's going to come from our Kino Hill mine, which was our newest acquisition that we acquired from Alexco Resources last year. And Kino Hill is expected to produce two and a half million ounces of silver in 2023. So with 17 million ounces of silver in 2023, expected to grow to, tw to about 20 million ounces of silver in 2024, this makes us the fastest growing silver producer in the US and in Canada. We are also, um, we also own the Casabarati mine, which is our gold mine up in Quebec, and that produces about 125 to 130,000 ounces of gold a year. And speaking a little bit more about our silver mines, we have the best in class silver mines, which are not only high grade underground, but also generate significant margins at almost all silver prices that you can think of. All of our mines, silver and gold, have long reserve mine lives of 14 plus years. And this production growth that we talk about, 17 million ounces in 20, 2023 and 20 million ounces by 2024, which is about a 30 to 50% increase from 2021, will all be in the best jurisdictions in the world. So before I speak a little bit more about our portfolio of assets, I want to highlight how scarce US silver production is. So if you look at the pie chart at the bottom right, it shows 50% of world silver production comes from three countries in the world, Mexico, Peru, and China. US produces only about 4% of world silver and Canada is even more scarce at 1%. So back in 2021, because we still don't have 2022 data from all the companies, Hetler produced 13 million ounces of silver, which was two times that of the next silver producer or tech, which is actually not a silver producer but it just shows how significant we are with 40% of US silver production. And we are positioned to be the largest silver producer in Canada as well with our acquisition of Alexco and Kino Hill ramping up to produce two and a half million ounces of silver by the end of this year. Apart from a portfolio of very rich silver mines, we also have a very good dividend policy, which is linked to the silver prices that you see. So we have a base, base um, dividend that is one and a half cents per share on an annual basis. And on top of that, we, we pay dividend linked to silver prices that starts at $20 an ounce and moves in lockstep as silver prices go up, as you see in this slide. So at $20 an ounce, if you think about our implied dividend yield based on silver price, that's about 4.4%. So with that, I want to get into our silver operations and gold operations. Starting with Green Creek Mine up in Alaska, it's our flagship asset that we've operated for, that has been in existence for 35 years and we've owned this mine since 2008. The mine produced about 9.7 million ounces of silver in 2022, and it beat our guidance of 9.3 to 9.6 million ounces, which was actually revised upwards in the third quarter of 2022. The mine has been in operation since 1987 and has produced more than 330 million ounces of silver, along with significant gold, lead, and zinc as well. The mine is also a very significant cash flow generator and has produced about $1.7 billion in free cash flow since 1987. And what we continue to do is we continue to make this great mine even better 
by making incremental changes to production, to mill throughput, and things like that. So for instance, in 2022, the mine had a the mill had a throughput of 2,500 tons per day, which was a record throughput in the history of the mine. And we expect to increase this throughput to 2,600 tons per day in a couple of years, which will continue to increase the margins at the mine and increasing production as well. Moving to Lucky Friday, which is our silver mine in Idaho, and it also produces lead and zinc. This mine has been in operation for 80 years and produced about 4.4 million ounces of silver in 2022, which was in line with our guidance, but a 22% increase over 21, 2021 production. And while this mine has been in operation for 80 years, as we see it, we think the best decade of this mine is ahead of it. And why do we say that? There are two reasons behind it. The first is that the mine, as it's going deeper, the grades are getting richer. So this is a long section of the Lucky Friday's 30 vein, which is the most significant um, vein in the Lucky Friday mine. And what you see in dark red areas is the silver equivalent grade, which is more than 20 ounces a, a ton. And you're seeing about one and a half miles below the surface as the mine grows deeper, which are the dark, dark red areas shown in this long section, the mine is going to be higher grade. And as these grades are increasing, we have developed a better and a more safer and more productive mining method called the underhand closed bench mining method, which has significantly improved the safety and the productivity at the mine. So we started this method or we started using this method back in 2020, which was another key in Hitler's innovative history of the past 130 years. And what this method does is it induces this large scale blasting along the strike of the vein and about 30 feet deep, and it controls the release of seismic energy and it improves the safety and the productivity of the mine significantly. And as a result of this, and as a result of this UCB, we have improved mining throughput at the mine. So in 2022, we achieved a new record of about 1,000 tons per day, where the mine had normally done 800 tons per day in the past. And we expect to increase it further to 1,200 tons per day by 2024. And what that does is, it is going to increase the silver production of this mine which is what is shown here that in the next decade, which you see in the last bar chart, 2022 to 2031, we expect to produce about 50 million ounces, which is two times as much as any production that you see in the past decade. So we are very excited about Lucky Friday, which becomes, which is our next flagship asset for the next decade, along with Greens Creek. Speaking a little bit about Casa Berardi, which is our gold asset in Quebec, it's about 125 to 130,000 ounces of gold a year that we produce from it. It's an underground and open pit operation, and the mine is higher cost because of the open pit aspect to it, but it's very significant to us from the aspect of exploration potential and being in Quebec that we see the mine having a lot of potential. Kino Hill, I want to talk a little bit about Kino Hill. We acquired this asset or this mine from Alexco Resources last year, and we are currently ramping the mine up and expect to produce about two and a half million ounces of silver this year. The production is expected to start by the third quarter of this year, and the phased ramp up to 440 tons per day should be completed by year end 2023. The development or the ramp up costs for this um, capital development to be in place would be about 35 to 40 million. And as we see by 2024, the consolidated silver production of Hecla would be about 20 million ounces and Kino Hill will have a significant role to play in that production increase. And how are we funding all of this growth is a little bit from our strong balance sheet that we want to talk about. We have a very strong balance sheet. We ended the third quarter with about $145 million in cash and in liquidity, excess of 260 million. And year to date for the third, for the first three quarters of 2022, our assets had generated about $98 million in free cash flow. So that's where we'll see all of the production growth coming in 
all being financed by our balance sheet. And as we do it, we maintain our commitment to leverage ratio to be at two or low. And in short, that is the story of Heckler Mining Company and the growth to come.